Many people believe that in order to break into cybersecurity, you need to have years of experience, a degree, and also a bunch of advanced level certifications. Now that might be true to a certain extent. It's also true that you can break into cybersecurity by having the right beginner skills. In this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through five essential skills that are in high demand for cybersecurity jobs in 2025. Companies are looking for people who have practical skill and not just certifications. So having these skills under your belt will set you apart from everyone else applying to these jobs. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you guys subscribe and join the family. And also if you find some value in this video, go ahead and drop me a like, it really helps out the channel. With that being said guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So skill number one is going to be basic networking knowledge. Cybersecurity in a nutshell is all about protecting networks. And if you're not familiar with how they work, you're not going to be able to protect them. Simple as that. Everything when it comes to IT, computers, and cybersecurity involves some form of networking. So for example, from firewalls to penetration testing, all of these things rely on some form of networking. So having a foundational understanding of how networking works is gonna help you a ton when it comes to your learning and development, but also when it comes time to get work done in a real world environment. Now, networking is an extremely broad topic and involves so many different moving parts and concepts, but some of the main things that I can just list right now include things like the OSI model, TCP IP, so understanding how data flows and moves throughout a network, understanding some common protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, DNS, uh, FTP, things of that sort, SSH, and getting a basic understanding of what these protocols do. Another example could be the different types of networks like LAN, WAN, WLAN, PAN, things of that sort, uh, getting a basic understanding of what those different networks are, also subnetting and IP addresses and how they work. These are going to be some essential concepts to understand in your first cybersecurity role. All of these concepts that I just mentioned and more are taught on a theoretical level by the CompTIA Network Plus certification. TryHackMe is also a great platform to get hands-on experience with networking as well. Number two on the list is getting familiar with different operating systems like Windows and Linux. Attackers target both Windows and Linux environments, so it's important for you to have a background in these different operating systems, what the capabilities are, and what they can do to protect themselves from attackers. There's also a lot of cybersecurity tools that use Linux, so getting familiar with this platform is going to be key. An example of some things to learn when it comes to Windows includes things like Active Directory and user permissions, Understanding Windows event log, so understanding where you should look when it comes to an investigation, which will really come in handy if you're in a SOC role, and also some PowerShell scripting basics to automate different things and also configure stuff. An example of Linux basics to learn include things like the Linux terminal and getting familiar with different commands, understanding the file system navigation and also user permissions, and also bash scripting for automating different security tasks. One of the best ways to get hands-on experience with these different operating systems is either by downloading a virtual machine and getting hands-on with them, or by using TryHackMe, they have Windows and Linux fundamental labs that will get you hands-on experience using these two different operating systems. When it comes to getting hands-on experience on using different tools and learning the foundational concepts of cybersecurity, TryHackMe is one of the best platforms to do exactly that. TryHackMe is one of the most popular cybersecurity learning platforms that you learn through hands-on labs and exercises all through your browser. They offer structured learning paths that are completely beginner friendly that cover different areas of cybersecurity like penetration testing, cloud security, blue teaming, and much, much more. These learning paths guide you from being a complete beginner to having a strong understanding of technical concepts and cybersecurity principles within that area you'll get the opportunity to work through hands-on labs that simulate real-world environments and also use security tools and techniques that professionals use every single day. One of my favorite parts about using TryHackMe is that you don't need to download any additional software in order to use it. All of these labs are all spun up within the browser, so no need to download any other software. They also built a clear learning roadmap that takes you from complete beginner to job ready, covering real-world skills like exploiting vulnerabilities, detecting threats, and using industry standard security tools. If you want to get hands-on experience and start learning today, I'll leave a link to TryHackMe down in the description box below. Thank you to TryHackMe for sponsoring today's video.
So skill number three is understanding cybersecurity tools and how to use them. Oftentimes when you first start your role in cybersecurity, employers will expect you to understand how to use these different tools from day one. There's so many different cybersecurity tools out there, but some of them include things like network scanning and reconnaissance, penetration testing, and network security. An example of popular tools that you should get familiar with include things like Nmap, which is used for network scanning and reconnaissance, Metasploit, which is a tool used for ethical hacking, Burp Suite, which is used for web security and penetration testing, and also Splunk, which is an example of a SIM, which is a security information and event management platform that is used for different investigations and tracking network traffic. TryHackMe also offers a bunch of labs on these different tools, so make sure you guys check that out in order to get some hands-on experience using them. Skill number four is Cloud Security Basics. So many companies nowadays are moving all of their infrastructure and computing onto the cloud on AWS, Google Cloud, and also Azure. So getting familiar with these different cloud computing platforms is going to come in handy when it comes to future-proofing your career. Some of the basics when it comes to cloud security include things like IAM, so Identity and Access Management, also S3 Bucket Security, which is used in AWS, and also logging and monitoring. Some of the most popular cloud certifications that are beginner level include the AWS Cloud Partition and also the Microsoft SC900. TryHackMe also offers a cloud security path, which is a great way to get practical experience. Skill number five is going to be basic scripting and coding experience. Automation is a huge part of cybersecurity. There's so many repetitive tasks when it comes to cybersecurity. And if you're able to automate these different things, it'll make your life easier and also your team's life a lot easier as well. So getting familiar with Python, Bash, and PowerShell are gonna come in handy when it comes to automating different tasks in cybersecurity. There's so many different free platforms where you can start learning how to code, including free code camp and also different tutorials found on YouTube. One of the best ways to start learning how to automate different things include doing some small projects that you can use in your daily life as well. So those are going to be the five essential beginner skills to have in order to land a job in cybersecurity in 2025. And the best way to learn these different types of skills is through hands-on practical experience through platforms like TryHackMe and also through your own labs or on YouTube. If you found this video helpful and insightful, please go ahead and drop me a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And also, if you're new to the channel, I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, if you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.